Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Doom internal gameplay reveal and stuff that uh, came out. Sorry that I could not post this sooner. Um, I had to do life things, so yeah. Uh, anyways, um, I'm going to be skipping over the other games just because I'm not fully interested in them. Now, of course, that isn't against any of uh, Bethesda games, except for why aren't you releasing Fallout? 76 on uh, Steam because I can't buy it anywhere else. Anyways, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, anyways, we're going to be talking about Doom Internal. Please release it on Steam. If you don't, I'm going to be super sad. Please, God, why? Anyways, uh, we're going to see the gameplay and that's about it. I won't be checking out anything else um, just because there aren't a whole lot of Bethesda games I'm really interested in. Um, I've played Rage the Demo, but I haven't really played the full game, so I can't say. Um, anyway, so we're going to be only focusing on the Doom stuff, so here we go. First time I've seen any of this, I've seen GIFs and images, but I try, I'm try trying to forget them. I barely, I only remember that there's apparently a sword now, which I'm confused by, but let's, let's check it out. I put it at full volume, by the way. Alright, we're back here again. Back here on Doom. Also, I would like to point out, sorry, um, if you go back and watch the uh, Bethesda E3 stream, I was trying to say Hell on Earth, but I completely just blanked out. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but yeah, let's, let's continue. <laughs> Is this at full quality? I think at full quality. You guys won't notice it, but I'm definitely noticing it. There we go. It seems a bit smoother now. Is that an American flag? I could just want to saw the American flag up there. Uh, I was promised gameplay. I really like the logo. That's one of my favorite things, is the logo. <laughs> yep, raise it up. Yep, everyone, come on, get up. Get up, another Doom game. Alright, now slow down. Alright. It's time. It's time. I have experienced some great moments in the 10 years that I have been coming to QuakeCon. The first was in 2011. Todd mentioned the Skyrim uh, demo where the lady went into labor. Um, I don't know if there's any pregnant women here, but a live birth today would really push this demo over the top. So <laughs> I don't want to ask for too much. I'm not asking the... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I gotta say, this guy, I uh, forgot his name, which I'm sorry. But this guy seems a lot more comfortable when he's at QuakeCon rather than E3. So I, I quite enjoy... I, I, I don't know. I like his humor and his stage presence. I think he ups He really up uplifts people, I think. That's just me. The second was in 2014 when we showed Doom for the first time to you guys. Behind closed doors, nobody got to see it. Just you guys. And honestly, it was like a religious experience to be there in person with you guys, getting to see Doom for the very first time. Now, if you've never worked on a game before, you have to know that showing somebody your stuff for the very first time can be a little nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. So, I need you guys to let them know that you're ready to see some Doom Eternal. Let them feel. Yeah! yeah. I want to see some Doom! All right. Here to show us more of their latest game, please welcome executive producer Marty Stratton and creative director Hugo Martin on Doom Eternal. All right, they were kicked in the music. They, they didn't even need him to say anything. Thank you. It's still going. It's still going. I'll clap. 
I mean, this isn't live anymore, but I'll, I'll clap. Thank you. All right. All right. That's enough. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, swearing. You guys are unbelievable. It is <laughs> awesome to be back here. Such a thrill. Thank you all for joining us. Um, I have to start by saying that we have an unbelievable time. So much fun with you every year at QuakeCon, but there is just nothing like these years where we get the opportunity to show you what our team is working on. It is the best thing ever, and we wouldn't want to debut Doom Eternal anywhere but right here to you at QuakeCon. I mean, that makes sense. QuakeCon, you know, it's software, it makes sense. Actually, uh, how many of you were here in 2014 when we shared our first look at The Last Doom? I wasn't there. I don't have money. That's awesome. Well, special thanks to you for joining us again and for your continued support. Uh, also, thank Hey, man, I feel like I'm supporting. Thanks to everyone watching on the streams. It's great to have you here with us this year. Yep, I'm right, I'm right okay. here. Let's get to it. Yeah. Ready to rip and tear? Yeah. Rip and tear. That's awesome. Because literally that's where it all starts for us. Oh, okay. Killing badass demons. Yeah. With big guns. Yeah. In unbelievable places. Yeah. Absolutely. And as the Doom Slayer, you want to feel unleashed, right? Yeah. Like nothing is holding you back. To yeah. Pure, unfiltered action FPS experience. It's open and world. That, we started with a very simple goal. Make him the strongest and most powerful hero we've ever created. I so as you can see, what? <laughs> in these concept illustrations, he's had a bit of an update, a modification to um, his armor and some new tools and abilities that make him even more lethal. Okay, I'm going to pause you there for a second. So, Doom guy right here, he has a full-on arm with a blade. All right, and then he has a laser. I... I don't dislike it. I, I don't dislike it. As someone that really likes Predator, like that kind of armor type, I like it. But the thing about Doom Guy that I think was really interesting is that Doom Guy could start off as like the weakest guy, but then build up over time, becoming something more powerful. You know, he's rugged. He gets, you know, he gets beaten up, but he gets back up. I like that quality in the character. So I really hope that this doesn't throw it into like oh well you know he's just instantly like the best character in the world because well that is true the reason why he is is because even at such a low level he's still as awesome as he was you know as he's going to be so i, I hope they still show that somewhat but i it looks amazing right now this looks awesome of course nothing makes the slayer more lethal than his guns is that like the new the BFG? Ballista, a gun that can spear demons with an explosive bolt. Oh. Oh. Own super shotgun. I, Look at yeah. that. Look at that. I love this. It's like his Excalibur, and you'll notice there's a little uh, thing on the end there. We call it the meat hook, and you're going to love what you could do with that thing. It's, shotgun, it's totally my new favorite. Plasma. <laughs> uh, rocket. Okay. But this is what's great. Everybody has a different favorite gun, because each is a unique and powerful tool for killing the biggest. I love all of them. I feel kind of bad because they just started showing them like they didn't even care. But uh, they showed plasma gun. They showed a different type of shotgun. And then they showed some sort of kind of maybe a laser. But I'm thinking more like a missile launcher maybe. I don't know. Uh, continue. And baddest demons you've ever seen. That's right. Because... You know, a hero is only as strong as the enemies he defeats. So if you want to feel like a badass, you got to wreck some amazing bad guys along the way. And mm -hmm. Doom Eternal has some incredible enemies. Okay, let's see him. All right. Bit of an Twice as many as last time. These guys are insane. All right. Yeah. We've updated some favorites, reimagined some classics Ooh. for Doom 2, like the Arachnatron, Pain Elemental. Ah! Oh. Damn. See, the other thing, too, is, is that this is kind of new to me because I haven't played the... I've played only, like, the first few minutes, like, maybe an hour, maybe 25 minutes of Doom uh, 2016. So all of this, I've only seen bits and pieces of the uh, the 2016 one. 
But seeing this, I'm like, oh, this is going to be difficult. Because those guys are a pain. Those are one of my least favorite enemies. Not 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 because they're not cool, but because, like, they spawn in hell spawn and it pisses me off. And we got some new bad guys for you to destroy, too. Check out oh, my God. And how about this guy? That's the cool. Ooh. Anybody notice he kind of looks like the Slayer? That's pretty cool. There's a story behind that. <laughs> There's a story behind. I like it because it shows kind of like a, you know, like a flip side. It's kind of like a bizarro. Like you have Doom Slayer, who was originally like one of the best and one of the, you know what I mean? Like, you know, just awesome. And then you have this guy who's the evil incarnate of that. I, I like that idea, but I hope that it's fleshed out well. If they're going to put a story behind it. <laughs> You know, the coolest enemies deserve the coolest deaths. So we're spending more time and energy than ever before. And glory kills. Sure it feels absolutely amazing every time you shoot, punch, kick, slash, or otherwise rip and tear one of the demons. Actually, okay. we've, act we've created like a whole system for this now. And oh! Destructible demons. You're going to get to see a lot of that. Oh, my. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it's kind of like in Brutal Doom. Okay, well, not fully like Brutal Doom, but in Brutal Doom, there was a, uh, like, as soon as you kill them, like, bits and pieces of them, like, uh, for instance, like, the, the Beholder guys, um, uh, when you shot them in the head, their entire upper jaw and, like, above their upper jaw would come off. So I'm really, and then, like, you could shoot one in the leg, one in the head, one in the arm, and, you know, dismember them. I hope that that's sort of a, a factor in this game. I hope I think that'll be really cool. If not, then it might just be kind of like um, uh, one example, not a good example, but in one example in uh, Deadpool, uh, that old game. Uh, the more like Deadpool takes damage and stuff, the more like his suit starts to tear and like his skin starts to show, and over time it regenerates. So I wonder if they're gonna sort of do it like that. I don't think they'll do any regeneration. Because, obviously, you're going to kill the demon. But I think they're going to work it like that, where, like, it becomes really, like, torn. <laughs> That's some good stuff. I'm, I'm really liking it. They, they know what's coming. They That's always right. know what's coming. Ready. Yes, you're <laughs> ready. All right. All right, well, calm down. You know what? I know the answer to the question, but you ready to see him in action? Yeah. yeah. Let's rock. All right, here we go. First time. All right, I saw this bit where he puts on the helmet. That's that's neat. Put that helmet back on. Systems, a lot of weird demon language. This is activated. Invisible. Ooh, that's a blade. I don't like his arm showing. Yep, blow that, blow that shotgun. Please Ooh. remain calm. You may notice a slight change in the environment. Yeah. Not, it's all part Ooh. Of Look at that. That is hell on earth right there. That is beautiful. Oh. You can grapple hook on them. Oh my gosh. That adds a whole new element. Ooh. Okay. Punch through that. There was a one up bit there. I like the I like the the soundtrack. Oh. Yeah, get him with the get him with the double bell. Ooh, I need to speed it to him. That is just wow. Oh come sorry. on, an ad. Yep. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Hold on. 
Hold on. I'm so sorry for that ad. All right, let's let's continue. I think the um one thing I I I don't mean to be rude, but I I hope that they have a more variety of glory kills. Um, because I know that was a lot of com that was a uh, complaint by a lot of Doom fans about Doom 2016. Is that while yes the glory kills were nice and all, um, they started to get repetitive a lot of times. So hopefully they they're a bit more faster, but also you can still feel that impact. Yeah, push them off. I like the arena kind of feel to it. Low on ammo. <laughs> wow. And he just got kicked. Look at that torn! Like, look how it's like... Man, that is something. Uh, the sound cut out. There we go. Got an assault rifle looking gun. That's a new enemy type. That is definitely a new enemy type. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. So they're going to be more aerial guys this time around. That's definitely, uh... Well, you know. Oh, headshot. Oh, yep, yeah, they're back. Pinkies are back. I don't know how I feel about that quick, like, dodge thing. It seems kind of weird. Alright, you're climbing the walls. That's... Okay. Ooh, there we go. I know this is a demo, but I'm very unclear of what the objective is. Like, I know it's to kill demons and everything, but still, Doom at least had, you know, of like, a way to go and everything. Ah, oh, you can flame people with that, that's nice. I wonder if they got the, uh, the shotgun guys back. The human... Or not the really... Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that feels satisfying. Woo! Extra life. Huh? Why are there why is there an extra life system? I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to need some more explanation with that one. <laughs> okay, alright. That was funny. Oh, that was pretty funny. I mean, I know I'm going to play this. Like, I know I'm going to play this. But, like... I'm just, like, hope that it's, you know... They haven't gone full out, like... Okay, there's the map. There's a bunch of secrets. Demonic Corruption. 
Is that what that said? Ooh. So what? Is this a missile? Obviously, got the ammo and stuff. It's kind of like a missile. No, nah, no, nah, it's a missile. It's like a kind of lower down one, but still is a missile. Oh, he's dead. Oh, they brought back teleporters. <laughs> wow. Okay. Demon's an, demon is an offensive term. Call him... What was it again? Demonically challenged? Remember, demon can be an offensive term. Refer to them as mortally challenged. Oh, mortally challenged. Okay. I think demonically challenged would be funny. <laughs> How to throw that in there? I, I, I can approve. I can approve. Oh, so you don't get to pick. Yellow gore key added. They have keys. Actually, the voice had keys. I don't know why I'm freaking out about that. <laughs> thank that you. Awesome. We're actually... Uh, Are we not awesome. done yet? Thank you. Are we not done yet? We're actually uh, just, just taking a very, very brief break. We have, uh, we have a, lot more to, uh, a lot more gameplay from Hell on Earth to show you, actually. But... For this next stuff, we wanted to actually pick up the pace just a little bit. Yeah. How about we go full bore and really see what this Slayer can do? What? Maybe okay. uh, little FOV change, little mouse and keyboard. You guys like the mouse and keyboard, right? Uh. All right. Buckle up. <laughs> Blood punch. How to kill your next melee? What is it? I didn't get to read that fully. Earth is the melting pot of the universe. That's nice. I don't get it. What, what was the break? Is there someone playing on a mouse and keyboard? He's a lot more fast-paced than the other guy. The track is also faster, which encourages, you know, faster movement. Ooh. Now hook on. Oh, look at it. I wonder, are they just going to throw fireballs? Oh, no, that's... Mm, I don't know if that was a fireball or a hell spawn. I like to call him Hellspawn if you don't mind. Ah, <laughs> oh, yep, he's screwed. Oh no, they're definitely Hellspawn. Wow. So they have a full on reason of like why they're gonna be like. Why we're making Doom Guy even more like powerful. I gotta admit, they. I, I'm sorry to pause this, but. I gotta admit, I'm happy that they were able to convey the Hell on Earth effect because Doom 2, original Doom 2, Hell on Earth did not convey that whatsoever. Like, I wasn't sure where I was at all until I actually read about it because I, I'm pretty sure it's not called Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Though I could be wrong. But, like, the levels really did not look like they were Hell on Earth. They just looked like they were some sort of mishmash. But I'm glad that they were able to convey an actual, like, what I would imagine, what I, in my head, perfectly imagine what Hell on Earth looks like. And they did that perfectly. So you can also shoot missiles out of it. The, uh, the little thing on your, your side. Ooh, okay.
I don't like the sidestepping. But I'm sure I can, like, I don't have to do that. Oh, that is brutal. I'm coming in late. What? What do you what do you mean? Last life? What? Oh no. Did they... Okay. Is this the single player? Or is this multiplayer? Because that was clearly... I'm pretty sure they're referencing player, other people playing the demons. I hope that's not on forever, right? And I'm going to get a lot of flack for this probably because I was the guy that backed co-op on uh, Fallout 76. Doom does not really need that where you're the Doom Slayer and you kill a bunch of other people. I would much prefer if there was... I, I honestly, I don't... I mean, I wonder what Doom co-op would be like, but honestly, I feel like Doom Slayer is probably more of a solo experience than Fallout. It makes more sense for you as a Doom Slayer to be by yourself, as Doom Guy to be by yourself. Why why is that function in there? Also, like I'll give I'll I'll give some credit about um They have Dude seventy six, which is obviously based on the meme and everything. And then Daisy one two one, which is the bunny that um, you know, was uh, sadly killed at the end of the Doom two. But I really hope this doesn't mean that there's full on online capabilities. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sad because I don't see too many people playing that. Yeah. All right, thank you. So glad you're having fun. I, so I'm, you I'm worried. You probably there at the end that we're now giving players the ability to take control of a demon and invade another player's campaign. I'm very mixed on that. I'm very mixed on that. I need more explanation. That's right. You can actually even team up as demons to form a slayer hunting party. Yep. But what be <sighs> Okay. Here's a few problems with that. If they're if you have them team up as demons to kill the slayer, there are going to be hackers, right? There are gonna be people who hack the game and then make it so that someone's doom campaign will be unplayable and unfun. Also who would want to play as the demons and ruin someone else's campaign? I, I... Uh. It's all just a really fun new way to add drama and unpredictability to your campaign. That doesn't... Unpredictability is fine, but when I'm already predicting it now... I mean, it's a good thing I'm predicting it now because I do not like it now. But is there a setting to turn that off? Because that isn't good at all. That that's not that's not a good way to go about it. I mean, you have to make sure that you have something set up in case people try to ruin someone's campaign through hacks, and cheats, or I I don't know. I don't think this is a good system. And this is just one of the ways that will allow you to enjoy Doom Eternal with your friends. Of course, it's up to you if you want to invade. Be in 
Okay, hold on. It's your way. Okay, if I if if I just do this, then I it shouldn't get a copyright claim. Hopefully. Anyways, um, I'm very, uh, I'm very, I I'm torn. I'm torn. I mean, because I don't, I don't hate the look of the game. I'm really liking the look of the game and how it's, uh, how it looks and feels, but I seriously do not want that as a full on mode. Um, so I need to see if there's a way, if, if they're going to say that you can disable that. Because if not, then I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to enjoy this. To you, if you want to invade, be invaded, or you just want to rip and tear by yourself in your own campaign. Totally up to you. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because I really do not want to play that mode. Uh, we're really excited about Invasion, and you can look forward to a lot more on this down the road. I, I really don't want to. <laughs> Because there's so many problems that can go with that. I mean, it's a cool idea in theory, but if one thing goes wrong, that entire system fails. All right, we've uh, we spent a bit of time. So also, what do you mean by enjoying with your friends? You're gonna have co-op. So far, just giving you a taste of hell on earth, but uh, that is just one of the many, many places you'll go. Yeah, we do a lot of environmental storytelling in. You can go to the Bahamas. In Do Maternal. We get to see how the UAC evolved, journey into new and fantastic places. Oh. oh God. Look, look, look. I'm just saying that artwork looked good, though. That artwork looked good. I would have that as wallpaper. That looks awesome. Is in hell, and take you to some places oh you've my never God, been before. In There's a so many game. dead people. Ooh. Wonder what that is. I also, I, I really wonder what. We that love is. our little hint. <laughs> Honestly, we're we're just huge lore nerds at it. And why does this look like Battleborn? Uh, everything we do has a story behind it. So if you're like me, and you like to investigate everything. <sighs> okay. One thing that I... Yes. Doom, on some level, needs somewhat of a story. Somewhat. The basis of Doom has always been three things. You're a Doom guy, you got a shotgun, kill some damn demons, right? That's been the basis of the game ever since it was made. Now, there has been some sort of a story. Um, you know, there was going to be the Doom Bible, which never got made because John Carmack thought it was a terrible idea, which I disagree with, right? I disagree. I like there to be story, but I don't want it to be heavily story-based, you know? Doom at its heart is a game where you run and gun, you're going through, you know, it's like Dungeons and Dragons, if there was no story. You kick down the dungeon, you kill the, you know, the monsters, you loot the place, next dungeon, right? I don't want there to be where I kick down a door and it's like, as you can see, the full Doom Slayers have sacrificed their lives. I don't care! I want to kill some demons! But I don't mind there being story. I just, I really hope it's not heavily story based. We're gonna make it worth your time. It's really okay, true. I hope we're so. We're not just making a Doom game anymore. We're building a Doom universe. A what now? A what are you doing? We're not making a Doom game anymore. We're making a Doom universe. Call, call Marvel up. Tell him to make the Doom Cinematic Universe. I can't wait to see Doom Guy, Quake Guy, Fallout Boy, whoever the heck the Skyrim guy was. Um, I don't know, some other... Oh, BJ Blazkowicz, obviously. Ah, dude. A Doom and BJ Blazkowicz game? Them teaming up would be the ultimate team. Because Doom Guy wouldn't care. He'd just murder whoever. <laughs> that would be a real dilemma for BJ. He'd be like, hey, man. You gotta save the Americans. We're just killing some damn Nazis. And then Doom Guy's like, Ugh! 
you know. Uh, what? I'm really, I'm torn because I like the idea of a universe, but how story focus is this? You all also know we're, we're pretty big tech heads at ID, and this uh, ID Tech 7 engine allows us to display 10 times the geometric detail and greater texture fidelity than... Well, I wasn't able to load in those frames. ...we have ever put on screen. Ah, that looks yeah. beautiful. And as you've seen, all without sacrificing a crazy fast experience running at 60 frames per second. Absolutely. When you know 60 frames. Right, you know what? We've actually got another one of those cool locations we just talked about. You guys want to see a little more gameplay? Yes! Yes! All right. You can never say no to QuakeCon. So let's take a look at what happens when the Slayer arrives on Phobos. Um, for what now? <laughs> What? I'm Doom Guy. Look, everyone's scared of him. It's so good. Look, they're all pissing their pants. Oh, there's no way that door is locked. You open that door. You open that damn door. Open that. Open that door. Give me. The, give me the red key. <laughs> That's funny. I like the I like the track. Why are there just two guys? I'm Doom Guy. You sure you want to mess with him? And give me that gun. Oh my god. They're on the moon! They're on the freaking moon! Oh my god. <laughs> Warning! The Slayer has ended, <laughs> entered the arena. Don't piss them off. And then he's, he's going in. He doesn't care. Oh my god. I feel like, right, when it comes to Doom... A lot of the complaints were that Doom 1 did not have enough single player. Like, you beat the single player campaign and there was nothing else. All the DLC was for multiplayer. I think this, if they get it right and make sure that, you know, you can actually play by yourself and experience the campaign by yourself, this will probably be one of the best Doom games ever. I mean, there is a few things that need to be changed here and there, but it's looking pretty damn good. Oh my gosh, look at that, man. He is just going through and plasming everybody. There's like a shock effect, too. Ah, dodge. Oh, so you can't shoot a missile. He is just killing everyone. They're playing on a controller again, aren't they? Can't, can't, that's not the full effect though. My only worry is, is someone who buys games strictly from Steam, if they do release this on the Bethesda launcher, I'm going to have to figure out some way to buy games through the Bethesda launcher, and that's that's scary. Ah, oh, look at him. That demon not happy at all. Ooh, you can see his ribs. Look at those ribs, girl. 
Ah, oh, look at those bones! Look at those magma bones! I feel like dodging is gonna be a lot of, um... A lot more prominent. It seems... Like, it definitely seems like the rhythm game that they were making originally. Load, load, load drinks. Oh, that's the crossbow. It's a laser one. And now he's out in space. He's out in space. The doom, the doom slayer's in space. I mean, the doom slayer was always in space because he was on Mars. But, like, like I'm saying, just throw on the moon now. I don't think... I don't think the moon was ever explored. I don't remember. Ooh. The other one's still affected all if you just shot him. Okay, I had that attachment. I really love the soundtrack that's going on. The dude needed to find needs to get some armor. The enemies are not really reacting to him. Like, some of the ground combat, like, they're not that heavy. This guy must be playing on, like, one of the, like, normal modes. Ah, oh, he just burns all of them. Alright, there we go. Get, he got armor. He dodged that pretty well. Oh, I ran out of armor. Yeah, I've got that armor back. Or get the health back. Oh my gosh. They basically, like... <laughs> what is... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I want you to re-watch that. But look at look at the demon. Just look at the the fly, Look at the flying demon, right? Look at the flying demon and just how it flies. Right, right. We turn off volume. Just f hold on. Wait for a second. Wait for a second. You're about to see it here. Look, look at how he look. Look. <laughs> he's just, just jogging. That's all he's doing is jogging. <laughs> all right. Let's pull up that full volume. Gosh, man. Ooh. Headshot. What's behind the door? Ow! And they gave him a sword. Oh my god. Ooh. People are just going crazy in that audience. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That gave that guy that guy gave the horns. It's metal. Yeah, thank you so much. Really glad you liked it. That was awesome. <clears throat> uh, you know, we I still think, like watching it. I know. I know. <laughs> that was so cool. You should play it. It's great. Yes. <laughs> you will. That's right. You know, it it uh, honestly it it takes an entire team of dedicated and talented developers to working hard together to make what you just saw today. 
So it's truly an honor for us to be able to come up here Absolutely. and represent the amazing group of people that we get to work with, both at our offices in Dallas and in Frankfurt, Germany. And because we are lucky enough to be here at QuakeCon, uh, we have many from our Dallas office. Oh, not another ad. Okay, so I just want to give some opinions. Um, I really don't remember what I was too mad about now because, like, originally I was... I don't know. It, it just feels all like a blur. Um, okay, multiplayer. Sort of. It seems like player versus everyone kind of combat in a sort of way. Um... I really don't like that feature, so I'm most likely going to play the campaign by myself. I'm really not interested in that. Um, overall, it looks great. I mean, you know, some story wouldn't be too bad, but the thing is, is that the first, the, or not the first, but Doom, Doom 2016 really just, like, took the cinematic feel of, like, what everybody was going for in shooters, threw it out the window, Gave a good arcade game back to that run and gun kind of feel. Even though there was a, an arena, which a lot of people didn't like, I still think it was a good game. Um, great soundtrack, great everything. And I'm really hoping that there's still a campaign, a single player campaign, sitting there waiting to be explored, especially with all these story elements. And I hope the story elements aren't too, you know, pushy, but. I could be wrong. It's look. Oh, hold on. Sorry. It's looking more like uh, some maybe reminiscent of like Doom Three storytelling, but not too much. I Amazing think. group of people that we get to work with, both at our offices in Dallas and in Frankfurt, Germany. And because we are lucky enough to be here at QuakeCon, uh, we have many from our Dallas office here uh, in attendance. So before we go, we would like to ask everybody from it to stand up so you can see who they are. Uh, and they can feel some of the love that we've been getting from this great audience. Good work, guys. Yeah. Amazing. Guys and girls. Awesome. Thank you. We love this. This was absolutely a blast. You make it awesome for us. All right. We'll see you around. Thank you. All right. Well, back to, uh, back to him. One more time for Marty and Hugo and all the folks that did. Okay, just to check, did anybody actually have their baby? Did I, did I get my wish? <laughs> I mean, you came close. Even if you weren't pregnant, you probably came close. Damn. I know they showed a ton of new stuff, but there's a lot more to come with uh, Ooh, Doom Eternal. Issues. Before I wrap up, uh, once again, I want to give a nod and a thanks to all of our QuakeCon volunteers who help make sure everybody gets in here, makes everything else happen. Uh, please, another round of applause for those awesome folks. I'm clapping even though I'm not on screen. If you screen. see them, be sure to stop them and say thanks. You can also ask them how to get involved as a volunteer for an hour, for a couple hours, for a day. We would always uh, welcome more folks to join the uh, QuakeCon volunteer family. For those of you here with me, there's uh, obviously a lot going on at QuakeCon, so I encourage you to download the app and check out when all the tournaments are happening, all the panels and all of that. For those of you on the stream, keep che checking BethesdaNet. You can also download the app so you can see when everything is happening. Uh, but that's it for today. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome QuakeCon. All right. The broadcast may include content inappropriate for children. Well, that's already thrown out the window. Um. All right. Well. All right. Well, we got a few more minutes here uh, to talk about Doom Internal. Uh. I'm really looking forward, though I do think they're not going to release it on Steam because, I don't know, I, I, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to release it on Steam, and that's really making me worried a bit um, because I really only buy all my games from Steam, so, um, because I really don't trust any of the other, like, ones that, you know, publishers, game developers are selling. Um, 
But if it does end up on Bethesda, I'll probably buy it just because I love Doom and uh, I want to see how this game works out. Um, my only worry is, again, with the uh, PvE stuff and story, that's really about it. But I've already handled Doom 3 story, so I think I'll be able to handle this one. Um, that's really about it. Um, if you guys have any concerns or anything, leave them in the chat. Let's have a discussion about Doom because unlike any other games, Doom I'm very passionate about and really care about. So I'm willing to talk about it with uh, other people. So, yeah. Anyways, that's about it. Um, I'm going to go and, I don't know, relax probably. But, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video if you did. Uh, think like I guess seeing what my thoughts on the whole thing were, um, and uh, yeah, great, great, uh, great video, great stream. All right, see you guys in uh, the next video, whenever that is.